Virgo, Virgo clan, Virgo nation. Yes. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. And yes, I absolutely did steal that from Val. If you guys know a Val, check her out. If you don't know a Val and you're a Virgo, I think you should check her out. Val 333 Tarot. Homegirl is on it. Virgo and Pisces are the main ones that she reads for. She's amazing, okay? So I totally stole that from her. All of, the, all of that know her already, you can vibe with me. If you don't know her, check her out. Val333 Tarot here on YouTube. The same on Instagram. Okay, so <clears throat> check it out, Virgo. I've got your pre-shuffle energies. And keeping with your theme, over the last six months to a year, honey, we are still in this, but it seems that you are coming out of things. Overall energy in your pre-shuffle here, Virgo, you do have the Queen of Pentacles, and I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck this month. I love this deck. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles. Knowing your worth is the driving force behind damn near everything that is going on in your life right now. Any sort of shifts, changes that you're experiencing, the Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth, not allowing yourself to, to accept or receive anything less than you know that you're worthy of, not putting effort into situations or relationships that you know are not balanced and reciprocal, or that are not going to serve your highest good and or the highest good of others. There's also an energy here with the Queen of Pentacles of a very much a tough love situation, but I don't feel like this is tough love um, that's that is um 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 this is this is a type of tough love energy that's being directed in all areas of your life meaning being directed towards people that are external to you but also being held for your own self okay there's a definitely a level of maturity and responsibility that's coming from this queen of pentacles but the crux here is that this this responsibility, the the hard ass, the the disciplinarian disciplinarianism, even that all that energy is hinged on compassion and unconditional love. Compassion and unconditional love, not only that you're holding for others, yes, external to you, but holding for yourself. But there is a level of taking responsibility that is that is required here when dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. She may love you until the ends of the earth, but she is not going to allow you to shirk your responsibilities and nor, nor are you going to allow yourself to shirk your own responsibilities in terms of this queen of pentacles energy. So yes, <clears throat> the queen of pentacles energy is here and it's strongly instilled within you, but I really feel like you are for the most part taking this queen of pentacles energy and directing it towards your own self, your own life in, in order to reshape your life. All right. This is a big pre-shuffle energy, but we're just going to get through it. So let's start here. There is a realization, Ace of Swords and the Lovers. This could be a twin flame relationship. This could be a divine partnership, soulmate, or it could just be a situation. It doesn't have to be a romantic choice. It doesn't have to be a romantic situation. And this is not your official love reading. I am going to do your love reading after this. It's going to be available on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Link can be found in the description box below. But whether this is in regards to love for you or not, it really doesn't matter. But there was some sort of realization here of what your happiness could really be should you move in a different direction. And this is a big overall theme that's been coming up for all of the signs so far this month and even in morning coffee okay so if you're new to me and you have and you don't know what morning coffee is morning coffee is my daily reading check that out the week of may 5th through the 8th we'll say the may 5th through the 10th um, has been messages surrounding not only the monthly messages here but also the daily messages has been surrounding making a choice that is great in greater alignment with yourself and what this feels like here for you virgo is with the ace of swords and the lovers there was a realization of how something just was not working in the ideal way for you which did lead to heartbreak um uh uh, disappointment, resentment, betrayal, feelings of betrayal. Um, um, I'm hearing denial. Uh, there could have been an energy where you knew this was happening or you were feeling the negative effects of this all along, but you were denying it. Okay. And that caused you or someone, this could be you, or this could be someone that you're connected to, or there could be two Virgos involved. Who knows? This is a general reading, but then this caused, this energy caused someone to take a break, to stop for a second and be like, whoa, whoa, I need to, uh, 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 pause true uh, not um not a truce what's the word i'm looking for um time out 
It caused you to have to take a time out. And then here, Virgo, you are in both the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. A Hermit officially is you, but there, there, was, a, there was a need to go within. Okay, there was a need to go within and find um, your answers or find some guidance from within or uh, figure out what was going on within you energetically that helped facilitate or manifest this situation. Because ultimately, just like this theme has been coming up of making a choice for your own betterment, also the theme is understanding that whatever you've been through so far was really meant to teach you a lesson and to ultimately help you to grow. And that's what you're doing now, Virgo. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, there is a victory here because you're overcoming things that were not the ideal in the past. You're finding more of your inner light and you're finding a victory there but you're moving on slowly but surely the knight of pentacles is very much a virgo energy it just feels like a virgo energy to me but it's um also a virgo energy for me as a reader because i see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs within each element and for earth signs that would be you virgo but the other reason the other part of the knight of pentacles that really feels like a virgo energy is the knight of pentacles is extremely consistent very hard working very focused um detail oriented is not going to move forward unless something is done adequately because the thing about for me what i see in the knight of pentacles is homie has somewhere he's trying to get to and he's not trying to get to that destination only to have to realize he's got to turn back around and go fix something that wasn't done correctly the first time so he's really not going to try and move forward unless he knows all boxes have been checked every all t's have been crossed all i's have been dotted and now we can move forward right so that's what you're doing here virgo slowly but surely but you're doing it and there still is a little bit of an energy of introspection going on. It's like this this energy here, Ace of Swords, the Lovers, Five of Cups, and the Four of Swords. This was the beginning of you having to go within, all right? And you've done a lot of that so far. That's what's helped you get into this Queen of Pentacles frame of mind, right? But as you're moving forward, there's still a level of introspection. This is like an ongoing cleanup process that I'm picking up on for you. All right, Virgo? Okay, but ultimately this is good. Um, with that Six of Wands there, I really feel like you're overcoming a lot of some really nasty, heavy things. This is a big personal victory for you. It may not feel like it right now, because yes, some of that Five of Cups energy is still lingering a little bit, but alt Ooh, and there you go. There's the Queen of Cups with with Temperance. Okay, yeah, see, look, Virgo, a lot of that Queen of that Five of Cups energy is lingering a little bit but i really do feel like with the queen of cups here and temperance you're doing what you can to face your emotions or at least you need to do what you can to face your emotions and to honor everything that is coming up in uh, in order to facilitate greater balance for yourself in order to alchemize re-alchemize uh, change things change you know what i mean oh and then there's the high priestess right there too you uh, look virgo i just feel like you're really connected to or are in tune with higher realms of awareness and i feel like some of you are actually going through a little bit of an initiation right now okay as you're starting to come out of the haze of whatever negativity you've experienced in the past now you're starting to get to the point where it's like okay you're at a checkpoint and the haze is lifting you're starting to see a little bit clearer and as time goes on a figure is standing before you or is starting to appear before you or is becoming more and cl clearer and clearer interview in view and that is the energy of the high priestess saying all right honey so what have we learned here? What's the higher perspective here? Let me help you. She's reaching out her hand. Let me help you. Let me pull you up to these higher realities, these higher vibrations, so that you can see really the true value of what you've experienced in this situation. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful, Virgo. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we will see what else we've got here for you. For the month of May. Here we go. High Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020.
Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids, five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you. One. Two, form of Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. General reading, three. Love is coming next. I will be doing that reading right after this one. And like I said earlier, that will be found or can be found on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Yes? Yields. All right. Let's see what we've got for you, Virgo. Alrighty. Overall energy. The nine of cups. Satisfaction. Virgo, I feel like you're in a space right now where satisfaction is all around you. And what this feels like, Virgo, is not anything specific other than the fact that you are free. You are free from whatever. I'm hearing nepotism. Nepotism might have been a thing for you. Um, this actually, the nepotism might have been an element of uh, that worked in favor of others around you, but you got the shit end of that stick. Well, you're free of that now. You're free of a lot of burdens that were holding you back in the past. And I just, I really feel like right now, Virgo, you're not trying to do too much else other than what you have to do, but also other than just allowing yourself to bask in the feelings of the satisfaction of this freedom, because that's what the Nine of Cups is. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's also satisfaction. And I just feel like you're you're in a space right now where you have the, if you don't already feel it, you have the potential to be super satisfied right now. All right. Underneath the nine of cups, ooh, is the five of swords though? Well, that's interesting. Underneath the five of swords, we have the knight of cups. And underneath the knight of cups there, we have temperance. Now, the other thing that I was picking up on with the nine of cups is uh, overindulgence, um, maybe even su being super selfish when it comes to satisfying yourself, satisfying oneself. Um, you Okay, so, so either Virgo, this is you, or this could be someone that you are connected with, um, or maybe this is a message <clears throat> for the cross watcher or something like that. But um, there is a balance that's coming into play. There is a balance that's happening here for Virgo or for whomever I'm channeling for in terms of not being so damn selfish. And this could be a situation in which you helped someone else realize, realize just how selfish they were being and how destructive that was. I mean, the Five of Swords is not a pretty energy. The Five of Swords is winning at all costs, is um, self-sabotage, is sabotage in general. Uh, and I feel like there's definitely a self-sabotaging energy here, or at least there has been in the past. And now there is a strong level of balance that's coming into play because of that. Okay, again, this could either be you or someone that you were connected with, someone that you were dealing with in the past. Okay, so let's get into the rest of the reading here. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. We're starting you off with the Page of Pentacles, turning over a new leaf, a brand new start for you, okay? Either you or someone else, but I do feel like even if you are... If, the, if this reading is kind of resonating with some energies that you share or that you're connected to in terms with somebody else, I feel like both of you are really ha have the potential here to start a new journey or to start over, to turn over a new leaf. Um, or if this is just you, and then I, then you're, it's like you're, you're looking at this, you're staring right at this, this um, level up, this new beginning. The Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles could be a message, could be an offer, but I just feel like this is a level up. This is starting a new reality for you. It's a new frame of mind also. I feel like your your mindset is different. There's a change in perspective that has, that has been integrated or at least is, is you're allowing to be integrated into your life and that's creating this new vision of where you could be, where you could be going, a new level to... To, to, to start from, I'm also hearing a new playing field. Page of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Three of Wands. All right, so so you could even be in an energy right now of reassessing your path. Um, 
it also means that the new element to this path that you're on is a direct, in direct alignment with you. I feel like there's apprehension here. Some of you are kind of questioning if this is really the right direction for you to move in, or if this is really the next step on your journey, on your journey, the right step to take. And I do feel like it is because it is very much in alignment, at least with how you are perceiving of this new step, this new phase in life. I don't feel like all of you are really actively taking this step or this leap of faith. You're kind of, you you see it, you see it, you're viewing it, you're like, mm, I'm not so sure about it. Is this really the right thing? Or is, there really, is this really the right next step for you to, or for me to take? And it's like, I, I feel, I, will, I wanna say yes, because I'm hearing that it's in direct alignment with this new level you've achieved. This new level of awareness, this new level of understanding, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading here. Oh, there's that Knight of Pentacles again. Okay, so yeah, some of you are taking those steps. Now, others of you are actually trying to plan those steps. So yes, you're in the you're, you're kind of in both the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles state, some of you, because you're looking at this new path, this new journey, this new way of being, and you're like, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles energy, it's like, how do I take this on? You're taking it seriously. It's like, okay, well, what are my action steps? What's my plan? What, 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 how am I even going about this? I do feel like you have an understanding that even if you were to set a solid plan, it doesn't mean that that's going to flow that way completely. But you're Vir Virgo, you are someone that very much wants to have a, at least some sort of map to go by. Regardless as to whether or not things kind of go awry at any moment in the journey, you at least want to have a road map to, to have a frame of reference from. And I feel like you're kind of in this energy right now of planning out your next steps, which is really good. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with... Okay, there's the Nine of Swords. All right, so there's some anxiety, there's some fear, there's uncertainty, sure. I mean, you're a mutable sign. You have a lot of, uh, you have a much easier time with changing energies than other signs do. Um, I, arguably, maybe even, you may even have an easier time with, uh, with it than like say uh, cardinal signs because cardinal signs, yeah, they move, they'll change, they'll flow, but you, Virgo, or mutable signs, I just feel like have a much easier time with going with the flow than some others do. Um, but And yet, you're still an earth sign, Virgo, so uncertainty is really not something that you're, you're trying to be all in for, right? So as you're trying to plan these steps, there is some fear, there is some apprehension, you know, there, there's uncertainty, and I'm just not sure about what I'm doing. That's okay. You're allowed to be unsure of it. As long as you, as long as you get the action steps in order, and as long as it kind of, it does feel good, it feel, if it feels right, then move forward with it. You don't have to have every single detail nailed down. And I think that could be where your, um, uh you're hitting kind of a roadblock because i don't i feel kind of feel like you don't necessarily want to move forward completely or at all until you have everything little detail nailed down and that's just not going to happen you are stressing yourself out too much you're 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 trying to do too much too soon take it as it resonates take it as it flows just go with the flow here okay you don't have to map out every little thing your challenge in the first half of your reading here virgo the Knight of, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups now. Wow. Uh, Virgo, allow yourself to dream. I feel like the challenge for some of you Virgos here is that your inner child is kind of calling out for something or calling for you to move in a certain direction or take some certain step or certain action. And you're struggling with whether to follow through with that or not like the challenge here that i'm feeling for you virgo is to please listen to either your inner child or your dreams because they're valid and they're necessary page of cups is coupled with four of swords yeah so okay this is also yeah this is saying to you virgo Allow yourself some time to recuperate and allow what you truly dream of, what you really want, because the Page of Cups can be the dreamer energy, right? So don't forget to take some time to recharge and refresh and allow your dreams and desires to be refocused in your mind. 
or to come back into focus. I feel like there is a necessity to take a step back and really think about the plan of action that you're putting together versus what your true dreams are. Are they, are they in alignment or are they mismatched? Because I feel like they could be either mismatched already or there is um, a, the potential as you're going through this next phase or you're stepping into this next journey or whatever, there's potential for you to kind of lose sight of your dreams or for your dreams to kind of fall out of focus in the framework of all the gory details that you're trying to plan out. Don't be so rigid with your planning that you allow yourself to forget or lose sight of what you're truly after to begin with. Don't get lost in the details. Don't get lost in the sauce. Okay, Virgo? Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Very good. Doing the work. Uh, uh, putting your plan into action. I think the, the closing message here for you, Virgo, is to literally just start taking steps. I feel like you have enough planned out sufficiently already. You don't have to kill yourself trying to plan anything else. I feel like you have enough of a plan in front of you where you can actually start to take those steps. And if you reach that, that level to your plan where it's like, okay, well, I have nothing else planned out right now. I don't know what to do. Stop. Meditate refocus and reassess from that point of view because that space that you're in at that point will be different from the initial space that you're in now makes sense like allow like uh, allow yourself some space to let the unknown or let the universe slip some things in there that you weren't expecting you know give the give the universe some space to work with you all right again you don't have to plan everything out to the absolute minute detail start putting the plan that you already have in action. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with... Oh! The Seven of Swords. Yes, Virgo, you can start working. Saying to yourself that I don't have enough of a plan to take action is deceptive. You're lying to yourself, and you know it. <laughs> you know it, Virgo, and I just saw 2222 on the counter. Now, also, this is kind of speaking to... You don't need to let everyone know what you're planning you don't need to let everyone know what you're working towards you don't if you feel like you don't want to tell people then don't tell people i mean who cares they're obviously going to care if they care though then that's their problem not yours and that would be a red flag for me like why are you getting so triggered right now because i'm not telling you what i'm what i'm working on like why is that such a big problem you know what i mean but stop lying to yourself, Virgo, because you know you can take action, and you can take action now. Baby steps. But that's the thing that the Knight of Pentacles represents. Baby steps, right? Okay. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Virgo. First set of surrounding energies. Seven of Wands. All right. Keep your plans to yourself. Okay, that's fine. Keep your boundaries. Okay, that's great. Seven of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah, you do really need to work on keeping your boundaries. You might be extra emotional this month or during this period. There could be some things that are coming up that you'd really need to face and focus on and deal with and feel your way through. Um, but what the what the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups is saying for you, Virgo, is make sure that you have your you have enough time and enough space to get yourself through whatever emotions are coming up right now. Don't, don't, push, don't push them away. Don't push your emotions away. Maybe you might be pushing some people away here and there. All right. Um, but that's really so that you, that would be so that you can have the space to deal with whatever is coming up here for you. The strong message that's coming through with this, Virgo, is if you need time and space to heal and to work through your emotions, by all means, take it. You're allowed. You are absolutely allowed. You are absolutely allowed to have a day, two days, three days, a fucking week, a fucking month if you need it to deal with your with, with the emotions that are coming up. Okay? Uh, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Virgo. All right. Judgment. Yes, you are ascending. Yes, you are 
moving to higher vibrational realities. And so because of that, Virgo, there are things that are going to need to be purged out, lower vibrational, denser energies that are not compatible with the higher vibrational reality that you are ascending into. So again, if you need time and space to heal, then take it because you're being, you're going through an awakening or a deepening of an awakening that started years ago, right? Judgment is coupled with, hey now, strength. I know that shit is right, Virgo. I mean, you have the strength to do this. Um, your strength is being fortified as you go through this ascension process. Some of you don't realize it, but you are actually much stronger than you think. You might be in a period of really starting to recognize as you're dealing with what emotions are coming up for you, you are in a period of really potentially starting to recognize just how damn strong you are, Virgo. Ain't no weaklings up in here, and no offense to anyone that could be seen as a weakling. You are just as much loved as your others that are maybe a little bit stronger, but like, we've got some power players right here, all right? So you need to trust and believe that because, <laughs> because honey, that is your reality. Let me be the one to sit here and tell you, you are much stronger than you think, than you know, than you're even, com even maybe even remotely aware of. You have the power. I've been watching um, The Toys That Made Us on Netflix. It's such a cool show. Like, I love it. But I just watched the He-Man one, and that's why. That's why that came up. <laughs> All right, Virgo. The challenge for you in the second half of your reading here. Six of Swords. Is that Swords? Yeah. The Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is movement. You go, you could be physically moving uh, to a new home, uh, a new city, a new state, a new country, uh, whatever. Um, but this is challenging because the, the focus in, especially in this ascension that you're dealing with, the focus here is leaving the rough waters and the past behind you. And so there's going to be, I just heard nepotism again. For someone out there, nepotism has been a bit of a comfort zone for you, and it's only really facilitated you not, to be honest, probably not taking much responsibility for yourself, if at all. And you're not wanting to leave that behind. It's, 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 it's been your haven, your safe haven, but it's only really been enabling toxic circumstances for you. So yeah, this is going to be a little challenging. All right, you're going to have to stand on your own. You're going to have to leave all of that behind and move on to something new. For others of you, this is just healing from the past. There's something, I, this Six of Swords just feels pretty heavy right now. There's just, there's something that you're leaving, that you're moving away from, leaving in the past that is going to be fairly difficult to cut the cord from. But it is absolutely doable. You just have to be persistent. And Virgo knows about persistence and consistency, right? Okay. The Six of Swords is coupled with, oh, the Chariot. But you are moving forward, Virgo. This is the right form of movement for you. Yeah, you really could be changing scenery, moving out of your current home, moving to a new one. Um, Six of Swords and the Chariot both talk about that kind of energy, okay? But there's very strong movement here for you, Virgo. Very strong movement. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading. Okay, Virgo, the Empress. Moving into this energy. I love that. There's all kinds of abundance available for you as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. Don't allow yourself to slip into the fear of lack. All right? Because I just heard that's not very responsible of you. Ooh, okay. The Empress is coupled with... <sighs> Fucking right, Virgo, the Six of Wands again. Hello. Virgo, you're moving into a very abundant state of being, whether that is um, just in your external surroundings or it's in your internal reality. But I feel like this is definitely something that's stemming from your internal reality. Okay. You're moving into a phase, into a period of unconditional love, of abundance, fruit, uh, fertility even is what I just heard. So if you're looking to get pregnant or if you're looking to start a family, I feel like this phase in your life that you're moving into is going to be able to facilitate that for you. Okay. That is beauty mess. I'm so sorry. Part of the reading has gotten cut off here. Um, my frame isn't quite big enough, but that's okay. You guys can see enough, right? That's the Empress and the Six of Wands down there. All right, Virgo. 
this is good. This is really good for you. Um, I feel like you're you're really moving on, Virgo. You're leaving the rough shit behind. You're leaving the past behind. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of you because I really do feel like you've overcome a hell of a lot. So let's close out your reading here uh, with some closing messages from the unicorns. And then I'm going to get into your love reading, which will be or is available on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations, y'all. Check it out. Last shuffle. All right, Virgo. Closing message here for you. There it is. Nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. And then you also have past lives. Interesting with intuition at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Beautiful. And then you also have nature and past lives. Past lives says, release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. And that is literally what is happening for you right now. Many of you are in the process of purging out old, outdated, and past life energies that have just been keeping you in a low vibrational state. It's time for you to be free of that. It's time for you to really fully, truly release all of that so that you can achieve the greatest potential that you can within this Empress energy, right? Cool. Um, nature. Nature is big for you guys right now. I mean, this is spring. We're in the month of May, but also you're an Earth sign, all right? Nature really helps us as Earth signs. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. There's also an energy of if you are moving, you could be moving to a space that is that has so much more access to nature. If you're looking for a place to move to, I, like you know you wanna change in scenery, you might want to look at places where you can be more connected to nature. Forests, bodies of water, lakes, oceans, uh, na uh, parks, uh, national parks, mountain ranges, whatever. Whatever would resonate for you. Look in that direction. All right, Virgo, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!